Keys that were left inside a school bus allow a 12-year-old boy to take it for a joyride early this morning. It began a three-county police chase ending when the driver crashed the bus into a home in Brookston. News 18's Kelly Roberts spoke with the home's residents about what happened. Kelly? Jeff, the couple inside the home did not want to speak on camera, but they say the crash was a close call. The woman who lives at the home on Ripley Street and her 11-month-old baby were inside the garage up until about two minutes before the crash. White County Sheriff Pat Schaefer says the 12-year-old rode his bike from Battleground to a home in Brookston where the Frontier School Corporation bus was parked with the keys still inside. Tippecanoe County Sheriff's deputies were tipped off to a potential intoxicated and reckless driver on Tyler Road near Battleground. They chased him through Tippecanoe, Carroll, and White Counties. Sheriff Schaefer says deputies contacted White County officials as they neared the county line around 3.30 this morning. Police put stop sticks on the road after the boy ignored, ignored their lights and sirens. The bus then turned into a neighborhood in Brookston, smashing through hedges before coming to a stop after crashing into a garage. Just woke up and saw the flashing lights and amazed at how many police cars. And then I saw two um, wreckers come and I watched him load the truck. Schaefer tells us the boy behind the wheel is learning challenged. No one was hurt. Schaefer says Tippecanoe County deputies detained the boy. However, word about the status of the boy and where he is right now is not available at this time. A call for comment to the Frontier School Corporation was not returned. Kelly Roberts, News 18.